Yo, what is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton tutorial. This one is not only more information about the EQ8 inside of Ableton, but also 15 presets that I put together that are pretty much just straight from Ozone's EQ8. So if you can't afford Ozone, um, but you still want to use some of their EQ8s, then I've translated that into the Ableton EQ8s. I've just uh, plugged in the parameters. But another thing, too, is I've as I've been playing around with the UQ8 making these presets for you guys is I've noticed this high quality button which is presumably makes the EQ8 work better uh, and you can see if you watch these lines when I change it the lines will change so I don't know what's going on but uh, I did a little research on the web and found this from wire to the ear dot com when high quality mode is enabled on the EQ8, the audio being fed into the EQ is oversampled by a factor of two, meaning the sample rate of the audio is doubled. If your session sample rate is 44.1, enabling high quality will make the audio being fed into the EQ8 at 88.2. Then the EQ8 changes are calculated at the doubled sample rate, making it more accurate. And finally, the audio leaves the EQ8 at an undersampled factor of two or basically brought back to the original sample rate so yeah there's that but I'm guessing that uh, will really mess with your CPU so if you're happy with the EQ8 as is and you didn't know about the high quality thing and uh, you can go ahead and use it but um, if you're really getting crazy with your, your EQ and you want top-notch stuff then go ahead and switch that high quality marker to on Another thing is, too, is on some of these presets I'm giving you, they're mid-side. So I've done a tutorial on this. If you click that annotation here or whatever, uh, you can go check out that. But this is uh, mode mid-side, which means the EQ for the middle or the centered audio is different for the EQ on the sides. Um, and let's say that I'm working with that, and I really want both. EQs to conform to the same um, EQ. What I do is right click and go copy middle um, M is greater than S which means that the middle is more important than S. That means that the side EQ will be transferred into the M. So right now I'm looking at the side but I want it to be in the middle the same as the middle. So if I hit that you can see that it, it changes to that for me. Uh, I'm not sure why you'd ever want to do that, but just in case, options are good, right? Anyway, go ahead and download those uh, EQ8 presets and have a blast with them. There's some pretty cool ones in here. Titan bass, there's a drum and bass one, some pop stuff. Uh, you know, just some cool stuff to play around with. More tools in the toolbox. Anyway, we'll see you next time.